name's Sherelle. Um, I'm a youth counsellor and I work at Palmerston in Mandra. Palmerston is a drug and alcohol counselling service. So we offer counselling for people affected by drug use or affected by someone else's drug use. So families, um, significant others, that kind of thing. Um, and we're a non-government organisation and we do not charge for our services. So we offer counselling um, and we also have a residential facility as well. Well, I sort of fell into it, to be honest. Um, I was doing my psychology degree. Um, I actually did psychology and criminology. So drug and alcohol um, really blends the two of them perfectly together. But I was in my third year of psychology at, at Murdoch and they started really explaining to us that we needed to get some experience under our belt before we graduated because um, as we all know they don't really employ based on just your degree anymore, it's you need the experience. So I was in my third year and I had done a, um, an addictions unit called Drugs and Dependence and was just completely fascinated by it. Um, during uni I was also working part-time at a pharmacy so I worked in pharmacy for seven years and already had some knowledge of um, medical, the medical model and drugs and things like that um, and this degree really um, pushed me further into that so I rang Palmerston looking for volunteer work and um, I rang a few places actually and Palmerston had an opening and they were happy for me to come in and, and learn as much as I could from them. So I started volunteering one day a week for about six months. And then a position opened up for a youth counsellor. And by then I'd finished my third year of psych. Um, so I had the equivalent qualifications of a counsellor. So I was able to work part time as a youth counsellor while I finished uni. And then after I finished uni, I was employed full time and I've been there ever since. I would really like for them to achieve a greater sense of self, um, a greater understanding of themselves and um, better, more appropriate ways of dealing with life stress and, and, and life circumstances. Um, that's what I would really like for them to be feel empowered enough to, to leave counselling and to, to go on and continue to you know do great things with their lives without feeling the need to use substances to make them feel better. The challenges, um, personally, it would be just hearing other people's traumas is a challenge. Um, what I then do with that and how I how I cope with that is a challenge. So. Um, you know, that's where all my self-care comes into it. You know, I do um, physical exercise, I do boot camp three times a week, I do meditation, I do some yoga, so, and I do a lot of social times with my friends as well to really try and balance it out. Um, another challenge would be, when I first started, it was a more of a challenge than what it is now. It was um, really letting go of wanting to help them. So realising that you know people need to help themselves before I can help them and they need to want it. I can't want it for them. So letting go of that um, really helped to take the pressure off myself that I was putting on myself. Um, so they would probably be the two greatest challenges in this job. Oh, the rewards, there are so many. Um, I think the biggest one would be really feeling like you're connecting with someone. Um, I work with clients who have a lot of negative experience in their lives and a lot of mistrust and a lot of um, people have let them down and being able to sit in front of them and work with them and to feel a connection, to feel like they are really trusting you and they um, are really wanting to, to, to learn from you and, and I think that's the biggest reward is, is just that, that feeling of 
you know, of that connection that you get. Um, yeah, that's probably the biggest reward and that's the reason why I keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs>